I'm so tapped up, and I guess we should try this again. So there's a lot of confusion over the star-striped marlin in this new event, and uh, I think people are mostly just overcomplicating it, but um... So, the way you get the Star Stripe Myelin is you watch the Leaf ads right here 15 times total. Other ads don't count, as far as we can tell. It does say the ads, but we're almost entirely sure it means only the Leaf ads. So watch 15 of these. That's about 7.5 hours worth of ads, um, just to keep track. Um, after the 15th ad, a timer will start. The timer is completely invisible. The timer runs in the background of the game while the game is running. Once that timer hits 30 minutes, the striped marlin can appear uh, and it'll swoosh all around and you'll have a chance to take a picture of it. This is what they look like. I've got a few other of them. I uh, don't know where they are. There they are. You can see them in the distance there. They'll swoop down all around like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, and all you gotta do is when you see them appear, you just open the camera, take a picture. Then what you're gonna do, move the camera. Um, you don't have to take the picture of anything in particular, just take a picture, it doesn't matter of what. Then in this freeze frame, focus on the striped marlin, retake photo, boop. Then you'll have your picture of the marlin, click retake photo again, and then you'll exit, and then you'll get your marlin, okay? It's just like the regular striped marlin. Um, people are overcomplicating this. People think that, oh, you need to wait 30 minutes after you watch an ad. No. Once you've watched the 15 minute ad, the 15th ad, the timer is just on a loop and it keeps going and going and going. You do not need to keep watching ads. Um, you do not need to close the game after 30 minutes. None of these things, people keep coming up with conspiracy theories that just confuses everybody else. Please, if you don't actually understand what causes the striped marlin, please don't like invent theories and tell people that that's the way it works. Because people keep doing that and then everybody gets confused. All you gotta do, watch 15 ads. Eventually, every 30 minutes is when there is a chance, but eventually you'll see the star marlin swooping around. You'll take that picture just like I showed you and then you will unlock it. Um, yes, that is how you need to share pictures of the stripe mar the star stripe marlin three times to get a light jellyfish. A lot of people didn't understand the star jellyfish or the light jellyfish last episode either. I don't understand exactly why, but um, yeah, everybody tries to think up conspiracy theories on what makes the marlins appear. It's nothing. It's every 30 minutes, there is a chance that they will appear. That's it. All you can do is wait. You don't know when the timer, here's the thing. People think that, oh, you need to close your app if after 30 minutes you don't get the Marlin. No, that's not how it works. Um, the timer is cumulative and it's invisible. It's in the background. So like, say the timer is currently at 14 minutes and I close the app in five minutes. When I open the app again, I would have to wait 11 minutes because the timer is currently at 15, 19 or whatever number. I probably messed up those numbers, but you know what I mean. The timer does not restart from zero when you close the app. You have no idea at any point in time what the timer is at, unless you meticulously watch exactly 15 ads. If you know that you watched the 15th ad, go ahead and keep an eye out 30 minutes of game time after. Go ahead. Um, other than that, don't worry too much about it because worrying about it will absolutely not help in any way, shape or form. Um, it's really all you can do is wait. It's just a timer with a random number generator. There's no strategy, there's no skill. You just gotta know what's there, and you gotta know when they show up. You gotta do this. You gotta go, Parker, please do not destroy my house. You gotta go do this, and then you take the picture. That's all you do. Um, a few things. So, for one thing, people have noticed the striped marlin might be a little bit more common since this update. A few people have gotten it on accident while waiting for the star marlin. So it might be that the uh, chance for them to appear has increased. Um, if so, that would be really cool. Um, the bonito also appears in the exact same way. The bonito also does not appear to be tied to the sea urchins because uh, somebody got the bonito without having the sea urchin farm unlocked. So, um, yeah, that one's just on a random timer, exactly like the star, the star marlin, the striped marlin, excuse me. The striped marlin does appear 
to have a Starhorn Coral requirement though. Um, somebody reported getting it exactly 30 minutes after they report they got the Star the Starhorn or Starhorn. Yes, uh, there's a Staghorn Coral, and I always want to say Staghorn, but no, it's the Starhorn. Um, but yeah, that's been suspected for a while. But yeah, I, I think we can pretty definitely say the Striped Marlins uh, do require that. Now, some people have reported that the Striped Marlins stay here at the top. I have never observed this behavior. Um, I've got to say, uh, it's definitely not always that that happens. But they usually whoosh around in a school of maybe three to five. They swoop all over the screen, and they'll be really fast, so they'll catch your eye. And um, generally, I recommend just using this view. Now, something that some people do um, say might work is that, oh, if you um, focus the camera on a jellyfish, then you can kind of look up. And then you'll have a view of up here in case the marlins appear there. I don't, I don't know what causes that to happen. I honestly think it's just a, a weird bug. And I mean, it's abyssrium, so bugs are to be expected and feared and respected. Um, the game is basically just a bunch of bugs that accidentally create a game at this point. Um, but yeah, if you want to focus on a jellyfish and kind of look up like this, you can, I guess. But just try to make sure you have a good view of the front of the core light as well, because in my experience, that's where they appear, is in the front. But if you want to be paranoid, you can kind of look up a little bit like this. Try to keep the core light, like, you know, like this is a good view, I think. <clears throat> Personally, I don't think it's going to help a lot. Personally, I think that people just assume it didn't happen because they're really rare, and they think, you know, some people reported it like this, so it must have happened to me. Um, I do really wish, like, if anybody on the Abyssrium dev team is watching, which they probably aren't, uh, they'd never <laughs> acknowledge my guides or anything, um, but if anybody from the dev team is watching or listening to feedback, stop with the Marlins. Just, just stop. Stop it. Get some help. Like, everybody hates these things, and they keep putting more and more, like, there was just the one, the infamous Marlin, for so many months, for a full year, pretty much. And then they added the Bonito, and then they add this. Within a month's time, they've added two extra striped Marlin equivalents. And it's just infuriating. It's like, every time they add these things, so many people get confused, so many people get upset. And now it's got a timer on it, it'll only be here for a month. Uh, I will say, I do think the star striped Marlin have a much higher appearance rate than the normal Marlin. Um, Oh, and let me tell you, so... Oh, Tap Tap, how do you know that the timer doesn't reset? Here's the thing. When I got the Striped Marlin, here's what I did. I, being the lazy bugger that I am, I set up an auto-click macro with Nox App Player, which is this little thing here. Uh, just search, if you want to know how I'm playing it on my PC and blah blah blah, just search Sir Tap Tap Nox App Player, you'll find it. Um, and i show you how to do... How do you install? It's pretty simple. Anyway, what I did was, I think it's this one, actually. Oh no, it's not that one. Maybe this one. I don't know which one it is. Anyway, what I did was I made an, um, I made a little macro to uh, open up this thing. Parker, you're extremely in the way. Um, watch the ad, close out of the ad, get back into the app, and then I would loop that every 30 minutes. So I went to bed, because I really wanted to get that Marlin, and I wanted to be able to show a video of it as soon as possible. And I had, you know, some hours to sleep, and I didn't want to stay up getting a stupid Marlin. So I had it watch all my ads, and so I have no idea how many ads it watched total. It was definitely over 15, because that's 8 hours and I slept for more than, or, well, I probably slept for around 8 hours. Anyway, when I woke up, um, the Marlins were not here. I had watched well over 15 ads. Um, I stopped the thing and I knew, okay, we've watched 15 ads. So what I did was I closed that menu there. Actually, I wonder if, I wonder if people are in this menu and what they mean is that the Marlins are like right here. So maybe closing that menu would make the Marlins a little bit easier to see. Anyway, what I did was I closed out and I just watched, I had this over on one of my monitors so that I could just watch it. And, um... So, I waited 30 minutes, and no Marlins, actually. So, I waited another 15 minutes, and then, oh, Marlins, actually. So, I don't think it's 100% guaranteed every 30 minutes, but 
If you miss the Marlins, because I'm sure I missed them overnight, I'm sure they appeared. If you miss the Marlins, A, they come back, don't worry. B, you do not have to close and reset to get another chance, because I had never closed the session. That, that app session had been open for like 10 hours or more, because um, I left it on all night. So the Marlins probably appeared several times. Um, like I said, I, I can't stress this enough. The only requirements for this stupid, awful fish that I know you hate, and it makes sense, it's a very hateable fish, my friends. But the only requirements are watch 15 of the ads for Maple Leaves, then an invisible timer that you can't know where it's at. Um, an invisible timer counts to 30. And then there's a random number. We don't know the number. We will probably absolutely never know the number. If that number is above another number, then the Marlins appear. So all you can do is watch 15 ads and wait for the Marlin. That's really all you can do. There's, there's really no secret. Don't put out the normal Marlins so you can summon the other Marlins. It's not how it works. Um, ignore the friend on Facebook who told you that Mew is under the truck and if you talk to Mew, he will give you the secret code for the Marlins. Mew is not under the truck. I'm sorry, and Santa Claus isn't real. It's, it's true. I'm, it's horrible, I know. But there's, there's nothing but waiting. It's, it's a bad fish, I gotta say. It's a really poorly designed fish. I like the concept of, oh, it swings by and you take a picture of it and then it adds it to your collection. But the combination of 30 minutes, which is a long time to wait, and it being random uh, is just horrible. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just horrible. I'm sorry. But the good news is the fall event is very good. And I honestly expected this event to be terrible. I was like, leaves? What, what's, what's, gonna, what's it going to be? And it turned out pretty good. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's a lot of minutes to talk about the Marlin, but I hope you better understand not only the Star Stripe Marlin, but the regular Marlin, and just what you gotta do is just wait. I'm sorry. I wish it were not this way. I wish, I wish you could go and talk to Mew under the truck and get it, because that would make sense, and that would be fun, and that would not suck. But this is the Stripe Marlin, and it sucks, so you just gotta wait. I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for watching everybody. I did an upgrade of my server. I, um, just a little fun fact. I um, migrated my server from Namecheap hosting over to something called Linode, which is uh, little virtual Linux machines. And so I have now a completely controlled by me, um, if anything breaks, it's totally on me, server that is hosting sirtapdap.com and the famous guide. And uh, it's been running really well. I. I've kind of impressed myself. I haven't used Linux since high school. Um, and I didn't like it then. I don't really like it now. But uh, it works and it's been kind of fun. Except for the part where if I break something, like hundreds of people will not get to see their fish. But um, it hasn't broken as much as I feared. It's uh, working pretty well. It's actually faster too. It's um, I'm, I'm on, the, on the cheapest Linode, the $5 one, just to see if it works. And it does work, though I'm probably going to have to bump it up because um, I don't think I have enough RAM. But it's been going faster than the previous website, which was, uh, which was uh, more expensive, significantly more expensive. Um, and the good news is, if, even if I have to pay what I paid for the, um, the old site, it'll be so much faster. It'll be really nice. So I'm really happy with this. I just want to brag, and now I'm, I'm officially a sysadmin for myself. Um, I do, I'm, I'm full stack now, Parker. You don't know what that means, because you're a cat. He's just looking at me. His ears are back. It's like, human, shut up and pet me. But I am petting you. So there. Um, anyway. So yeah, the site is... Uh, it's all moved over already. Um, I even got my email. I had to move my email domain and everything. It was a whole ordeal. But it only took me a couple days. Three days. This is the third day that I've owned the Linode. And I didn't do too much the first day. But... Uh, it was fun in a way. Yeah. And also, just a little tiny reminder. Um, as always, if you want to support my site, if you want to support my guides, my videos, me in general, you can go to patreon.com slash tap tap. Um, P-A-T-E. 
O-N.com slash Sir Tap Tap. You know, if you got to start, if you're making a startup, you got to misspell a word. That's the only way you're going to get attention. You know, coffee is for people who misspell words. It's, uh, it's just how it works. But yeah, you can support me with either just, even just a buck helps a lot. Um, cause I can, unlike ads, I can be like, oh, okay, I'm going to make this much money for a month and I can, you know, budget that. Ad money, very irregular. I would rather not deal with ad money if I could. But yeah. And you can also help me get rid of ads if you, uh, if I get enough support on Patreon in total. Anyway, that's enough talking about the stupid Marlins. I don't want to talk about the Marlins ever again, frankly. <laughs> They're infuriating. But, uh... Thanks for watching regardless, and good luck to all of you Marlin Hunters. I hope you get it five seconds after watching this video. Parker, what have you done? You've trapped my mouse. What have you done? I didn't know you could do that! What have you- What did you do? Parker, it never ceases to amaze me how destructive Parker is just by whapping his tail on the keyboard.